you ever find it hard to pay for your education? Oh gosh, uh, Ivy Tech, Purdue University, Atlanta Technical College, and now Bernal University, so four. So I've been a career college student, I believe. They were always able to help any problems I had, but um, two years in a row, my junior and senior year, I had issues with FAFSA, and they made me redo it and then come in and I had to actually talk with a financial aid. I think the application process is a drawback. Um, it's intrusive, um, but I don't know if there's a better way to do it. And that's, that's the problem. I mean, the FAFSA is, the FAFSA is flawed. It doesn't necessarily um, take all financial um, considerations, whether, you know, credit card debt, um, parents might have student loans, um, you know, mortgage payments, deaths in the family, those sorts of things. And it doesn't really work those into the formula that well. Um, that being said, it judges everybody equally. But I didn't know that, um, like the different types of loans, and that each loan you take out has its own interest rate. So. I didn't realize that and the loans that I took out when I was a freshman have pretty high interest rates compared to the ones that I took out like later in college so yeah no I didn't I did not know. <laughs> U.S. Marshals in Houston arrested a man over a three decade old debt for student loans. The amount was $1,500 which of course oh. is now a little higher because he didn't pay it but the idea that we're now throwing people in jail or arresting people because they haven't paid their student loan debt is a little crazy. I think as Americans and as dads and, and you know parents, we just gotta take control of the ki kitchen table conversation. And we're not pushing our kids to go to scholarships.com. We're not pushing our kids to actively seek these equity monies to raise the capital that they need to pay for the school. I'll say students probably don't if you if you don't if you haven't had the, a business class or something like that or a personal finance class, um, you probably don't have a huge understanding of how personal finance works and how um, loans are set up, how interest rates work, um, how the difference between unsubsidized unsubsidized loans and subsidized loans. You probably don't really grasp a lot of those things. 